Hello my beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. My name is Sanya. Today we're going to be talking about something that really struck a chord with me a couple of days ago when I accidentally ran into this video and I'm saying that just because there's no such thing as accidentally. You are aligned with something. So if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, it's because you aligned with this video. The topic is guilt. And guilt is something that is not really discussed about a lot. And I want to share with you, what are you attracting? Where are you on the emotional guidance scale? What is your reality going to be more like when you feel guilt? And also what to do with it in order to feel better, in order to move on from it. So guilt, I, I took this paper. I mean, I talked a lot about this on TikTok um, lives. But I also wanted to record a video that is going to stay here and anyone that want, wants, they can just come back to this and watch it. If you're going to look at emotional guidance scale, so you have upward spiral and you have downward spiral. So these are all low vibrational emotions. These are high vibrational emotions. I'll link emotional guidance scale underneath this if you want to more uh, look into that in detail. Guilt is 21st. The only thing underneath it is fear, grief, depression, powerlessness, victim. If you are on this level, 22nd, which is whether you feel fear, grief, depression, powerlessness, victim, the level above it are insecurity, guilt, unworthiness. So this is still better than the last one but it's still very, 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 very low. When you're, how you're vibrating is what your reality is gonna be like. I have a hair somewhere and I can't, there it is. <laughs> so I'm not editing any time, any of these videos. So guilt is here. If someone has that emotion of feeling guilty and listen to this, a lot of us have this guilt based on how we were brought up. So let's say our parents were even the best of parents. They would be, why did you do this? Oh, Ma, I can't believe what you just did. You're so, there are parents who would say, you're so stupid. How on earth did you do this? Can't you think? What happened with you? I thought you were a smart child. You're an idiot. You're this, you're that. When a child is young, when we're raising our children with these types of interaction, with these types of language with them. They feel guilty because they think it's them. They feel guilt because they're like, okay, if I have done these, these things differently, I would not be shouted at. I would not be punished. Their parents, they say, go to your room. Don't do this. Stop crying. Stop all this nonsense. Can't believe you did that. And, and to, you know, while you're living under my roof, you're going to be doing things like this because I said so. A lot of the things that happen to us in our childhoods are making us carry that guilt with us. Because guilt is, if I did something differently, the outcome would have been different. This could be even to the point of, I don't know, you forgot someone's birthday. Oh, I feel guilty. I forgot your birthday. So it doesn't have to be to the extreme. However, the, the way we were brought up is carrying that guilt because we always start from us. When we're children, when we're babies, everything that happens, we're the center of the world. Everything that happens around us, it's our fault. It's our responsibility. It's because of us. If a uh, mummy is sad because, I don't know, someone passed away, which is obviously, you know, grieving over someone, that's natural process. The baby sees mum crying, baby thinks, oh, they caused mummy to cry. So I'm not telling you don't cry. I'm not telling you don't ever share your emotions. What I am telling you, though, if you are one of those people that, would, that shouted at your kid, if you are one of those people that told off your child, if you're one of those people that just in that moment could not react any better, instead of just pretending 
that didn't happen instead of just being you know well i did that for a good reason you know they they caused me to react like this which again there's no such thing you we are the only thing we have power to control is ourselves our thoughts and emotions that needs to work be worked on we you have other of my videos to you know go back and listen to and work on that L how to love yourself i'll link that down below that's the foundation of everything including how to get rid of guilt guilt does not mean in this video when i'm explaining to you this that you'll never feel it again it does not mean that all of these emotions we have for a reason all of them does not mean you'll never experience anger guilt powerlessness but when you start working on yourself you'll get out of it faster what you should consider about every single one of us is doing the best we can in that given moment in that moment everything that we are that we have in this reality is based on all of the choices that we made until today so when you if you have a lot of guilt if you have a lot of first of all you can't change the past that's it it happened you just if you keep bringing that past to the present moment you're on that low vibration you'll be a you will be aligned with with more low vibrational things and that's why when people say well this is my reality how can you say people can be happy how can excuse me how can you say people can feel joy how can you say there are nice people in this world when all you can see is hate all you can see is not everyone sees that because depending on where your vibrationally are at that's what you're going to be aligned with the joyous you are you'll have more joy in your life this is why when they say you know well all, all rich people always get more money poor people always lose money or have less and less because they vibrate differently the vibration of i can have money or i deserve money or it's easy for me to get it it's completely different than oh i wish i had it oh i wish i could get this oh i wish i could buy this oh i can't pay for this oh how can i again different video in terms of if you want just about money but it's the same with everything so if you are feeling guilty, the emotion is the first manifestation. Do you want to attract more of that? That's, that's, you know what, when I have something and I attract something, I'm thinking like, no, 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 I don't want to feel like this because I don't want to attract more of this. There was, I was really, I got angry the other day. And to be fair, I can't even think about why at the moment. Anyway, I attracted something that would, for the past me maybe, get me really upset. And in this, in this first five, 10 seconds, I really was upset. I'm like, did this really happen? But then soon, really, really quickly, I went to, wait a second, but my vibration was anger. And although it didn't last long, it was maybe a few minutes or something like that. It didn't last all day, it didn't last for days or weeks. But I thought to myself, okay, my vibration was anger. If my vibration wasn't that, weren't that, I would attract something completely different. But because my vibration, I was vibrating like this, I got more of that really quickly. So what, the, the, download this, you have just good, uh, or look at my video down below emotional guidance scale what is your next step jealousy you can write all these down go from where you are at this moment if it's guilt which is this just write it down none of this you should take it on anyone else none of this is even this jealousy meaning you should stay being jealous but this is, although it's still low vibration, higher vibration than guilt. Then try to experience all of that. Maybe the jealousy is, I did this. How come, you know, they were perfect and they didn't behave like this or whatever that may be in your situation. 
The next one is hatred or rage. Again, not taking it out on others, but feel it, feel the hate because it, it feels more in control when you have rage and when you have hate inside of you than it is to feel guilt. But again, these are all low vibrational emotions, so don't stay there, but express them to raise another step on vibrational scale, another, because when people say, well, stop feeling guilty, how? <laughs> like, you can't just go from guilty to feeling joy and love and oh, all is well. Of course you cannot. Sometimes they make short videos and instead of saying, well, I can't, start asking how. Research how. Go on, okay, someone told me I should love myself more. I have a video link down below, like I said earlier. How to love yourself. Let's find out how. Don't just go, well, I can't do this. This is impossible. Or oh, what you're saying. I had a comment the other day. Uh, I made a video, you know, eat like you love yourself, act like you love yourself, speak like you love yourself. Because the more you do things also that, you know, a person that love themselves does, that will become your habit in time, like muscle. You have to repeat it until it sets in, until it actually grows, becomes your habit. And someone wrote something in the terms of, it doesn't go like that, this is just stupid, it doesn't... And I, I put underneath, beliefs create our reality. This goes for everyone, whether you understand this, whether you believe in it or not. Beliefs create our reality. If your belief... That also this person wrote that, you know, if you love yourself, you're a narcissist. Again, educate yourself because that's not the case. But I put, if you think this belief is serving you and if you don't want to change your beliefs, that's okay. But also, if you think maybe, you know, by changing this belief, my life can get better. Why not give it a go? Why not? Instead of just rejecting something look into it explore a bit more when i said someone is asking well how long should i do this as long as it takes depends on how deep the core that is depends on how you know your belief is really for some it'll take a week a month for some it'll take a year or two do not stop until it starts working that's it what happens is people give up People that quit don't win. Winners never quit. Anyway, after hatred and rage, there's revenge. You can, like I said, you can write this down. You can go through your head. Do not take it out on others. Just again, because on the vibrational scale is higher. Go through that, experience that. Try to sit in it for a while, because after that goes anger. But anger is still higher than hatred and rage. When you, in the beginning, go through all of this, it might, you might need a bit more focus. You might need more concentration. You not, might need more time. But the thing is, the more you repeat this, it goes easier. And then you don't have to go through all of this step by step. It'll just go automatically. After uh, anger, then there's discouragement, blame. Just Google this. Worry, doubt, disappointment, overwhelmed, frustration, irritation, impatience, pessimism, boredom. And then we go to an upward spiral. High vibrations. Contentment, hopefulness, optimism, positive ex expectation, belief, enthusiasm, passion, and then the highest joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation. This is how you go step by step from one to another. Now, keep in mind, first of all, I told you how we get guilt. Guilt is something we teach each other, whether it's in the environment, parents, whoever was around us, the way they were speaking to us. And what I wanted to say earlier, which I think I didn't finish, when you do these things to a child, to anyone, make sure in the end you apologize. If you don't want your child, if you don't want your loved one to feel guilty, if you don't want them 
to think it's their fault that they did some, something and if they don't want to think that you keep blaming them for certain things. When you feel a bit calm, when you get over that wherever you were, go down to their level if they're kids, kneel or whatever that may be, say I'm sorry, I'm sorry you did not deserve this, I'm sorry that in that moment I was not the best parent to you or your best friend or your best child or partner, I'm sorry I should not have done that. And Sometimes if you do something like this, let's say to a friend or someone like that, if they do not reciprocate certain things to you, you should see that as, okay, this would have, in terms of they don't forgive you, in terms of, well, now you did this to me, now I'm not gonna, those relationship would have been separated anyway in time. First of all, recognize past can't be changed second of all forgive explain um forgive yourself that's what i mean explain to this other person if you can uh, to apologize and also keep in mind that the person that you are today the lessons that you've learned you could not have done that if that didn't happen if you done something really bad that you know people would tell you now you're bad because of this please separate of i am a bad person from this was a bad behavior because behavior you can always change so don't say oh i'm a bad person now because i did that that's what everyone wants you to believe if you think okay this was a bad behavior this was something that you know it's how i acted not who i am it's really easier to change that. I can change the behavior. I can change how I act. I can learn from this and become a better person. If you said certain mean things to someone and you regretted them later, like I said, if you stay in guilt, you'll attract more things to feel guilty about. Learn from the experience. Okay, this taught me that I don't want this. My expansion is waiting for me. I have to raise my vibration. I just said how with vibration, emotional scale. I want to speak better words. Write down what words you could speak. What can I say the next time? If I get angry and frustrated, what could be my um, way of not reacting like that to a specific person. Maybe I can remove myself from the room. Maybe I can go scream in a pillow. Maybe, you know, whatever works for you. You can, maybe you can take a nap. Just distract yourself, remove yourself from the situation until you can raise your vibration. Keep in mind that if you want better life, I really hope this clicks for you. What you're feeling is what you're gonna, you're gonna attract more of. And your loved ones, people that truly love you, that actually love you, again, people call love so many different things. Love is always good, love is always kind, love is always, uh, you know, peace. So people that actually truly love you will want you also to be happy, will empathize with you. If you want your loved ones to be happier, you should raise your vibration as well. Keep in mind that all the low vibrations are telling us this is not our truth. This is why when you criticize others, if you're angry, if you're frustrated, if you're not feeling well, but you think this is the right thing to do, but it's still not that, um, it's still higher on the vibrational scale, but it's still on downward spiral. I really hope this, can, this is gonna click for you. So when you're in, on a higher vibrations, higher vibrational level, on an upward spiral, you will attract more of that. And this is why people, when they, you know, when they say, oh, they, they felt better after they hurt this person, they enjoyed hurting them, they feel better. Yes, they did feel better. You know why? Because if you're living in fear, if you're feeling like a victim, if you're feeling like, you know, powerlessness, if you're angry 
and if you take the anger on, an, on another person, that's still higher than the vibration of powerlessness and victim. You feel like you have some sort of control. In me, and in that situation, in those situations, you do feel better, which does not mean you're on an upward spiral. You're still on a downward spiral. So in order, and I always will mention to the end of the day, first of all, how to love yourself, self-love is the foundation of everything. Please watch it. Loving yourself does not mean you'll become a narcissist because narcissistic people do not express their empathy. They lack that. Uh, even if they feel it, they just probably won't even show it. They'll cover it, mask it with something else. They react from insecurities. Keep in mind, hurt people hurt people unless you're a psychopath or a sociopath or whatnot. But even them, I don't think they can... They lack emotions overall. They, they actually lack empathy completely. And I don't think they can all truly experience, obviously, love and joy and stuff. But that's you know, mental disorders, proper mental disorders. And I'm just talking about the majority of people that are not those types of people. So when you love yourself, you won't hurt other people. You will be kinder to other people. You're raising the vibration of the world. You in this moment, every single one of us, is contributing to the vibration of the world. But what are you giving more of? Are you giving more of love, more of joy or more of guilt and feeling victim and anger and frustration? What are you feeling? How, what are your emotions? How are you thinking most of the time? So there are a lot of things to cover, a lot of things to work on. Not because you're a bad person, not because you're unworthy, not because, um, you, you know, there's something wrong with you. Nothing like that. Just because you can have a better reality, you can feel you are worthy of every single blessing, every single good opportunities of you are the creator. The, the majority of us have just not been taught that. The majority of us have beliefs of our parents and then grandparents and, you know, generational beliefs, how to change your beliefs down below. And once you change that, you can show to your family, you can show to yourself, oh, I can have a good life, I can have a happy life, I can have a joyous life, oh, I can actually love, I can actually enjoy, I don't have to feel guilt, I don't have to hate people, I don't have to feel angry or feeling like a victim or feeling frustrated all of the time, but this is your habit at the moment, feeling guilty is your habit in this moment, but now you learn that you can change that, and I can't share everything in this video. First, I don't have enough time. <laughs> but second of all, you have so many of my videos that you can watch to see how. Um, I also um, ha have a video, don't believe everything you think. Because the a lot of the things that we're thinking are something that we have heard enough times or we have selves are repeated certain times a lot. And now we think that's the truth. But truth and lies, I mean, those mix so so much because what's truth for me would not be truth for you and we both will be right we will both live in truth but or in our own lies you can interpret it whatever you want but our brain works on repetition so what you want to change what you want to be like repeat it enough time so that becomes your belief so our belief was created by something that we've heard so many times. Now you can just say, okay, I'll repeat this new thing that I want 300 times a day for as long as it takes. For instance, I deserve to be loved. I deserve to have abundance. I deserve to feel at peace. I deserve to feel joy. Or I'm. if others could do it, I can do it too. This guilt that's in me was implemented because my parents, their parents and parents and whoever, 
they, they did not know better. Now I know better. Now I know even, even if now I know there is a possibility, I'm already a better person than I was, I don't know, 30 seconds ago, five minutes ago, when I didn't know that. Now I learned something new. Now I know I can work towards it. Now I know I don't have to stay in it. We all come as souls into this physical world to experience certain things. And maybe that experience that happened was something that you said to yourself you want to experience when you came down into this physical world. So you can just say, okay, I know that if anything, there's a lesson in this. There's something that I should, you know, learn from, raise my vibration, expand and be a better person. If you feel guilty that, I don't know, you didn't speak to someone you know, you love and maybe you, you quarreled, got angry and then that person passed away. What can you learn from that? Now, I'm never, tell, I'm never, never gonna tell you don't grieve. That's, grieving means you loved someone. So that's, that's different. I'm t talking about guilt. What can I learn from this? Okay, what I can learn is that any single time I'm angry at a person, when we say goodbye, I'm not going to let it stay in that. We're going to sort things out. We're going to work through it. My last uh, conversation with them will be, I love you. Thank you for being in my life. I really appreciate you. If you're with them physically, I'm going to hug them as if it were my last hug. And I'll do that with every single person that I love. Write a letter. If there is something you feel guilty about, let the emotions out. Let, let If you need to cry, let the tears go out. But know that even you can even dedicate living your life to the fullest in honor of that person. That person, they loved me. They don't want me to feel guilty. They want me to feel happy. Maybe they had something that they wanted to experience, but they didn't. They were putting, uh, you know, something else first and then they never... I'll do that for them. I'll make sure I live fulfilled life, happy life, joyous life in honor of them. There are different ways you can change your mindset and change your thoughts and change your emotions to have a better life. To, to see that situation as something to either keep bringing it to your past, which will create more of that now in the future because we always only have now or i'll learn from that i'll make sure that nothing like that ever happens again and keep in mind that hurt people hurt people you don't want to hurt other people that means you need to work on yourself to raise your vibration to work on your healing to work on loving yourself again first learning how then implementing then being persistent until it actually sets in and then when you're on that higher upward spiral, higher vibration, when you reach the vibration of joy, of love, of empowerment, of appreciation, you'll create more of that. So learn, keep in mind guilt is the second lowest one. You want to create more of better things, you need to raise steadily, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Just go baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. And maybe you felt 88% of the time like a victim or anger, anger, angry or guilty. And then 2% maybe, you know, would be like, oh, I felt happy, joyous. You know, I laughed at that. You may be, maybe watched a comedy show. Now you raise your vibration. Then you go back to this. You keep working on yourself. Did I say 88 and then 2? 88 and then 12% or 98 and then 2%. <laughs> but then as you work, then you'll be like, okay, now I'm 80% angry or feeling guilty. 20% of the time I'm on an upward spiral. Then I'll go 70, 30, 60, 40, 50, 50. In time, you'll be 20% on being on a downward spiral, 80% of being on an upward spiral. That's the goal. 
not never feeling angry again, not never feeling guilty again, not never having contrast again, because contrast, something that we think we don't want to happen, is something that sets out the wish in the universe. There's our expansion, we just need to reach it. We're better people now, we're expanded. Not any of that, not I'm never gonna feel angry again. But most of the time, I'll feel best. Most of the time, I'll feel the best ever, the joyous, the happiest, the best version of myself that I can be. It all starts with working on yourself. I can't do this for you. It's like watching someone exercising and through a few months, years, they're in such a good shape, but all you did was watch and maybe learn. And now you know everything on how to, but you didn't do the work yourself. You have to do this. You have to work on yourself if you want to raise your vibration, have a better reality, be the best version of yourself. Then when you reach that high vibrational level, you'll be like, why on earth did I not do this sooner? <laughs> why? <laughs> we didn't know better. Now that we know better, we can do better. I need to go now. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you've watched all this video, subscribe, like, and I really hope that you'll get rid of that guilt, that you learn from it, that you'll expand, and that you'll change your beliefs and create better reality for yourself. Love you so much. See you next time. Bye, guys.